morning guys, welcome to today's video. Look at this, ice cubes on my van. Those See, icicles. Ice icicles, icicles, not ice cubes, but look at this. Get ready. It tastes like car. Ta-da! All right, you guys probably can't tell and the floor is still a mess, but I cleaned this sucker out yesterday. So I wanted to get a bunch of our bags and our containers because we are going shopping. More icicles. It is cold. It is cold. Oh, I can see the frost. There's a little bit of frost. Oh, look at it. We had a torrential rain pour today. We had like such a bad thunderstorm. And you can see the water goes into the field, goes across. Before it was just at the beginning of the field, but this water all the way down. Like. That's insane. We've never had that much water in our field before. It has definitely been a year of extreme weather. Canada had like the lightest winter ever. Wow, did branches break? No. Are those branches that are broken there from the storm or are they old? I think those are new. I think they're old. I don't know. It was a... See the branches there? I don't know. Sam, are those branches old? Yeah. Just oh, they're old. Anyway, we're headed out. Because it is Wednesday and we're having Easter this weekend with my family and I don't even have a single thing of groceries. I hate doing grocery shopping. I hate doing grocery shopping for big meals because we have two fridges and there's no room in there. I have to like clean out all the stuff that nobody eats and restock with all of our Easter stuff. So I hate that. Anyway, we're headed out to do our grocery shopping. Finally, I'm a last minute girl and then yesterday my daughter-in-law messaged and said like Brooklyn wants to go and sleep at her friend's house this one day could we do lunch I'm like of course we can do lunch and then today Sam's like did you know that Sophie has her new riding lesson on that day at lunch I'm like oh yeah it's true she does <laughs> and so what am I gonna do I'm gonna try and cram it all in together I'm gonna try and cram her new riding lesson and Easter dinner all on the same day because that's how I roll cooking turkey and ham and we're just gonna throw it all in the oven and get it ready. I'm gonna get it all ready and then we're gonna leave and then come back and it'll be cooked. <laughs> That's the plan, Sam. There's water everywhere, you guys. Can you guys see it? Flood, floods everywhere. This has been the most extreme water that we've had in a really, really long time. I can't even get over it. Hopefully it means we're gonna have really good hay. One of the most things I'm proud of Sam for is getting all of our hay tractors and all that kind of stuff and being able to cut our own hay. That is like the biggest gift. Like I, I'm obsessed with that. And I love that Sam did that and that he cuts our hay and that we get together as a family and pick it all up. I wish we had more property and we could have like a party and invite all of my kids and yeah, so all the grandkids and we could all do it together. I think that would be super fun because they don't know what haying is about, so I'd be able to at least get them there one time before they say this is a rip off. Because haying is hard. Sam brought these pinhole glasses with him. They're meant to help you be able to see. Actually, I can see inside the, the camera, like there's a little screen on the side of our camera, and I can see that pretty clearly, but I can't see any distance. But these pinhole glasses are supposed to correct vision over time, and glasses don't repair they just kind of are like a band-aid but these are supposed to repair vision I just don't see me ever having enough patience to wear them and not be able to see clear to take the time to fix them just like Chino's feet you guys I want to keep I'm gonna make a video I keep on saying I'm gonna make these videos and I keep forgetting but I want to make a video about Chino's feet and how like every single time he has an issue with his feet we always get the advice put shoes on and put a band-aid on and and fix it and we we would do that and we have done that but then it always turned out to never actually fix him and never ever turned out to be like a long-term fix so we're going back to basics and we're fixing him from the inside out maybe I should try those glasses maybe I am like Chino and I need to fix my eyes from the inside out okay so this is what my cart looks like I have two bags I, that and I, I have a bags. bucket here and I have two buckets down here and then I'm gonna throw my purse up here because it makes it easier all right let's Our get to shopping okay. Sam and Gabby have gone in here too Can I eat one right now? when you bring your kids and you can't decide between red grapes or green grapes Sophie and I are obsessed with avocado. And I need coconut. a retry. 
Because last time. Last time we had a disaster was coconut. The dog. Sophie and I literally eat avocado toast every morning. Get 12. No, I'm not getting 12. Get eight then. One or two? I want stuffing. This is all they have. All right. Uh, probably turkey bread. Wow, that's fancy. Does it look like regular bread? Yeah, but it's for turkey. It's for making stuff. Is it spicy? Yeah. Oh, I love that stuff. We had it before. Um, I'd take two of those. We're gonna have ham bacon. and turkey. Which bacon? Uh, I usually use three. And then I got potatoes. All right. All right. Pumpkin pie, put it in the bottom. There's water on it. Get another one. Apple cinnamon hey. pie it is. Hi. Okay, what else? Crash, did you get whipped cream? No, but I got jello. Okay, you got pudding? Right yeah, yeah. And you got the cake mix? No. All right, we're gonna get the cake mix, and do you wanna go get the whipped cream? I can get the whipped cream. And, uh, it takes four day by day girls to shop. Chocolate? Oh, I've never seen that one before. The thing I like about this store is that it has entire cases. It has my gum. That's the kind that you look at. How much my gum cost and your gum. And I like my gum better. And we meet again. I need to go get fruit cocktail. Oh, we need water and pop. Okay, well, I got the pop. We'll get the water later. One gram of sugar. Yeah, get that. One gram of sugar. Get two of those. Grow, Sophie, grow. <laughs> My shirt's coming. <laughs> get it. Get it. Wait, wait. <laughs> two. You just shot. Don't throw it. Okay, now you can. Oh, Sophie. Can't, can't do, you can't take them anywhere. You guys, thunder is lightning like crazy. We were walking back to the car and the thunder, oh my gosh, it was just booming. I love a good thunderstorm though. In summer, in summer I like them. I like them in spring, I like them in fall. So I guess I just like a good th thunderstorm. The weirdest thing about me liking thunderstorms is that I can't stand dark days. Like, too many dark days make me feel down, yet when it's thundering and lightning in the middle of the day and it's all dark, I feel cozy and, and warm. I can't breathe. Do you like thunderstorms? No. Do you I like thunderstorms? Breathe, just yes. me. Do you like thunderstorms? Sometimes. Thunder and lightning continues, you guys. This has been the longest storm I've ever seen. Okay. All right, so we are home from shopping. It is a terrible day outside. It is an inside day. I knew we were gonna have to, I knew today was gonna be an inside day. Ellie's like, what's mine? Already Ellie has learned that good things come in bags. We ended up going to Walmart and getting a ton of stuff to make Easter bags for the grandkids. Usually I do like an Easter egg hunt or I have some kind of a treat. So this time, this year, we're gonna make these little bags. We're gonna divide all these things up to make special treats for them. We did get Jolly Rancher. We got a ton of stuff. I'm excited. Sophie and I love to do this kind of stuff together. Anyway, we're gonna make these bags for Easter. I always talk with my hands. So I was going like this and Ellie just came and jumped on me. We're gonna give you guys a honey update that we filmed yesterday. We wanted to update you guys now that she is a yearling. We even canceled riding lessons for tonight because of the weather. Like it's quiet right now, but it just keeps thundering and lightning all day off and on and nobody wants to have a riding lesson with thunder and lightning in an arena. Do we just need four? Um, there's four grandkids, yeah. Do you want to make them for you guys too? I'm doing ours after them. Okay, so I feel like the girls are big enough now that the Easter Bunny is probably not going to show up. So we're just going to make little bags of treats for them. Ellie's waiting to grab everything. I know. Ellie's like, these I'm are, here. I'm here. I'm going to help. These aren't that thin, <laughs> so they're actually good. They're like a thick plastic. I don't think they're big enough. They're huge. All right. So I'm here's the. One at a time. So here is the footage now, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. She seems like such a good weight right now. Just a tiny little belly. You can't tell because she the so hair hangs off. down so much. Stand. Stand. <laughs> she's, she's so cute. She thinks I'm still holding her. The cutest mini you'll stand. ever see. Stand. Don't. Don't do it. The pony. <laughs> she's 
Like, I don't know why. <laughs> you guys, do you remember? I have to make a video updating about Ellie, but A, Ellie, good girl, good girl, good girl. See, this is what I've been training her to do. Stand. Come back to my feet whenever I tell her so that she doesn't get kicked. Ellie. I, and I want her to learn that where it's safe to go, but when she goes near their feet. Ground time 101. Pony. Our, our ponies are doing, our, our babies are no, doing are so lying? good. She, like, Oops. You know, you will not brush me today. <laughs> she has her brushing, my, she has your brushing gloves on. Ellie. You think I'm going to use good yours? Girl. Are so dirty. Good girl. See how she, when she goes near their feet, I call her back okay. and she does really good. So yeah, anyways, fine. what I was saying about Ellie that I haven't updated you guys to. Remember when I first bought her and she was like so independent. I kept saying like, she doesn't love me. She doesn't like. She doesn't like want to be with me all the time. Like my chihuahuas would never leave my side. Don't lick her boots, Ellie. <laughs> Don't lick muddy boots. Thank you. Good girl. No, I and, and it was literally for like a good few weeks that she didn't like, she lay on the couch far away from me or she wouldn't let me catch her or she just like didn't follow me around. She was more interested in the other dogs. And I remember talking about it so many times. So the update is that I am never, uh, Ellie is never away from me. She's never away from me, Ellie. Good girl, good Something's girl. The door. Gabby's <laughs> probably coming down. Um, but it's true, like she's never away from me. If I'm sitting on the couch, she's in my lap. If I'm in my, like, I can, like, I have a video, I took a video the other day of what it's like to have a, a puppy. When I go to the bathroom, I literally am never alone. Like I'm never alone. She watches my every movement. And it's so rare for her ever to not follow me someplace. What do you think about the change in Ellie? Do you find a change in her since when we first got her? She Ellie. me everywhere. Ellie. Don't go near their feet. Good girl. Not near their feet. She follows me everywhere. She follows you everywhere? When uh, I go to the bathroom five seconds later, a door gets slammed into my head <laughs> and I see two dogs. <laughs> Your dog and my dog? Yes, my dog pushes <laughs> it into my head and I'm standing there and walks right in. But if I go pee and I open the bathroom door, poof, there's Ellie. <laughs> Gabby, hurry up and come in. Boo. That's still Uh-oh. Now Ellie's excited. So when I bring Ellie down myself to the barn, I don't bring the other dogs because she gets distracted. She gets distracted. She does get distracted though because she wants to be with them. Like she wants to do stuff with them. But, but she Gabby still doesn't does. go anywhere without the dogs. Yeah, Gabby doesn't go. Ellie, Ellie, thank you. Good girl. I know, I gotta touch your ears and rub them so you're not... Skittish. Oh, update on honey. Ever since I got Ellie, we've kind of heard. stopped, yeah, talking about honey. As she got older and closer to a year, we stopped doing a little update. Okay. So, update on honey. She is still stunning. To me, she looks stunning. I love her tiny little short face. We are still obsessed with her. She's amazing. I told you guys at the beginning that she had a little bit of um, sticky stifles. Totally gone. Ellie, our awesome farrier. Yeah, our awesome farrier and Sophie working her and doing specific things with her. Ellie, you're gonna get kicked. She is. Well, I got kicked once. Yeah, well, Molly's a lot bigger than Ellie. See, I broke she it as a puppy. I know, but even as a puppy. So that's all gone. Our vet figured that she was growing really fast and that she would outgrow it, and she did outgrow it really quickly. Um, I only ever saw one incidents of her having a sticky stifle really? but she so she had it like just a little tiny bit it was it was pretty it was probably just a growing thing but since then she definitely is a little bit straight legged so she's got like a bit of post leg happening which is just like a confirmational thing Brown time 101. and lots of horses have confirmational issues very few horses are confirmationally perfect it's just that we know what hers is but she's doing amazing and we still absolutely love her. Like absolutely love her. What? Did you pick her feet? <laughs> Sophie's like, stand. Hey, honey, <laughs> not your stall. Don't I love me. brushing her mane. I know, I love brushing her mane too. <laughs> You've never brushed her mane. I she's have. Like, too many teeth in my space. <laughs> in my face. Come here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ruby thinks she's her puppy. Yeah, Ruby does. Ruby loves her. She is a really good little yearling, though. We are absolutely in love with her. She's too old now. I know, she's so old. I can't wait. Cause I'm Yesterday you saw Gabby be born again. Today you see her. Gabby. Some ways to die. So or, or smart ways to live. <laughs> I can't say the same in my life. But. Is there one smart ways to live? Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to look that one up. The song. And my arms aren't strong. Enough. I know, I don't have strong arms either. Like even when I'm in perfect shape and have muscles, my arms are weak and my wrists oh. are weak. Keep doing that. That's scary, honey, and they'll bomb proof. Don't you know that you're beautiful?